believers, believers of good things, hoping you are all safe and healthy. I have made this video to spread what I have discovered in the past few days, and I believe that this is the best thing that happened to me and worth sharing for. This is all about investing. And one way of investing is buying and sell of shares. But in particular, this is more of buying than selling as we are still in the new stage. I have made this quick and easy as myself. I am fond of conciseness. All the inputs here are things that I have discovered during my journey in investing. Just a disclaimer, I am not an expert yet, though I am a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. To start with, I would like to discuss the objective of this video. The ultimate goal is to give you courage to start investing early. Regardless of age, we should learn the time value of money. Without further ado, I will be discussing the things to consider before investing and one of it is money or capital. Most brokers will say that you can start a certain amount like 5,000 or even 1,000 pesos. However, as per study, you need to have a minimum of 8,000 pesos in investing shares. This is to lessen loss at the beginning as there are costs or fees of buying shares. Example illustration. This is an illustration of an investment with BDO Unibank at 100 shares with 92 pesos and 35 cents each and if you will notice also the commissions plus VAT and other charges and if you will compute it to get the cost of shares it will be 0.29 percentage. This trade charges was from Call Financial where I have bought the shares. Take note of the 20 pesos per transaction as per written below and these are the commission VAT and other charges percentages that they will charge you once you buy the shares from them and if you will realize that the percentage of the cost is higher than investing imagine if you will only invest 1000 or 5000 only of course the percentage of the cost is higher right so it means lower the amount of investment you will incur higher losses the next thing to consider is the company which stocks to invest so in order for you to decide you need to know the blue chip stocks so these stocks are from large corporations or well-established companies that have operated for many years already so they are high quality stocks or premium stocks that are great to invest for long term or short term and these stocks are usually give out dividends days also i've been doing research and one of the websites i've been reading on is daily pick so they have a lot of articles on how to invest shares and how to sell them on the right time and i believe that you have to do the same also so as per my research the blue chips um in the philippines the top ones are on the list and if you would notice mostly are really well known in the philippines i have chosen ayala corporation banco de oro and jollibee as they have strong and high earnings per share or eps also i have learned that you have to invest in different sectors and basically these three companies are from different sectors moving forward the next thing to consider is the stock broker so what are stock brokers so they are registered representative who may provide financial advisory and investment management services and execute transactions such as the purchase or sale of stocks and the other investment to financial market participants in return for a commission, markups or fees, which could be in a flat rate or percentages. So in the Philippines, as like call financial, they are um, charging commissions and other trading charges these are the best stock brokers in the philippines and you can take a screenshot on this one and make a research on your own but as for me i have chosen call financial why it is because i have known them for ages also as per my research they have low trading charges and most of all you can invest mutual fund also through them I consider them as a one-stop shop 
where you can buy stocks and mutual funds. And I will tell you later why I only invested now and not in 2014. Just to make clear, these things are not in order. So the fourth thing that came out from my mind is earnings. So what do you get from investing stocks? You can get cash dividends. These will be given by the company you have invested with. Like Jollibee, they are giving away cash dividends twice a year. And it depends on your shares of how much you will get. Let us say Ayala Corporation, based on historical report, they are giving 4.1 per share or 4 pesos and 10 cents. And if you have 1,000 shares with them, you will be getting 4,100 cash dividends. Stock dividends, on the other hand, is that companies are giving away of stocks. Therefore, your number of shares will increase after the issuance of shares. Take note. There is also a way of calculating the price of those stocks, which you will know eventually. And the most important of all is gains. After one year, you needed money and you wanted to sell your stocks. My tips on that is you need to calculate first a possible profit and always bear in mind that before selling, you need to consider the amount of profit you will be getting after the cost of sales and other charges. In this case, you just need your basic math knowledge and, of course, common sense. As I have mentioned common sense, the next thing would be the attitude or traits that you must possess and that is having confidence, as this trait will help you to start. Be positive, of course. Practice the law of attraction. What you think is what you get. So think that you can do this, you will be successful, and you will get it. As the Bible says, ask and you will receive. Do not be scared. Fear not said, Jesus, right? The reason why it took me time to invest was because of fear. As I have had heard people saying before, the trading is very risky. You should be an expert first before you can invest and blah, blah, blah. And because of this, I end up investing to wrong companies. Like, I did try networking. And I did invest also in Budo or Scam company. And fortunately, all of the money I invested were gone. So I have told myself, why can't I just try to invest in shares while on lockdown? As for sure, the price of the shares has gone low. So I did, and now I am sharing all this to you. Always remember, mistake is part of your growth. Failure will teach you how to win. People will ask me when is the best time to invest. I would say now. You know why? If you will read now from the last letter, it will become won, right? So by investing now, you already won. You are a winner. As the economic principle states that a peso received today is worth more than one received tomorrow. So this is what we call the time value of money. As you have known, the six basic things to consider, the seventh thing is all about you. You need to set your goals. The purpose of your investment is the most important of all. Therefore, you need to know your short-term and long-term financial goals. Giving you an example, my short-term goal is to pay my mortgage. I mean, in one to two year time, depending on the market, I wanted to sell some of my stocks to pay percentage of my mortgages as I have two. And my long-term goal is my retirement. Who doesn't want to retire with enough money to sustain your life, right? So goals differ based on your situation in life. Now, after figuring out your goal, you are and you're ready to invest. Congratulations. Now, the next thing to do is open an account, familiarize the online brokerage account. And of course, you need to decide which broker uh, you want it to be with. For example, Call Financial. That's like what I said, they're really good um, stock broker where they have low trading charges. So just to wrap it up, these are the things that you needed to remember. First, you don't have to be an expert to start investing. 
you just need money to cover your minimum investment to lessen cost. Know the blue chip stocks for security. Believe in yourself and have confidence. This is very important. And start investing now. And most of all, just always pray and trust God that He will bless your investment and it will go grow soon. So for now, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you guys like it. And whatever your question, comments or suggestion, you can comment down below. And looking forward to see you on my next uh, video. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye bye. Take care. Keep safe and God bless you all. Thank you.